Did the founders want America to be a secular wasteland? Did they intend that all references to God and the Bible be expunged from the public arena? Not at all. The Bible was very important to those who founded this country. Some of the founding fathers served in leadership in Bible societies to distribute the scriptures throughout the land. During the 1770s and early 1780s, when Bibles that had been printed in England ran out in America, the Founding Fathers even voted to recommend a Bible published by a Philadelphia-based printer. In the streets of Philadelphia to this day, not too far from Penn's Landing and Delaware River Waterfront, you can see a sign highlighting the Robert Aitken Bibles. Here's what the sign says, quote, Robert Aitken, 1734 to 1802, an influential revolutionary era printer. He operated a shop on this block. In 1782, Aitken printed the nation's first complete English Bible. It received the endorsement from Congress and was the only new Bible available to colonists due to printing restrictions and import embargoes, end quote. Indeed, on September 10, 1782, Congress declared, quote, whereupon resolved that the United States in Congress assembled recommend this edition of the Bible to the inhabitants of the United States and hereby authorize Robert Aitken to publish this recommendation in the manner he shall think proper, end quote. That particular Bible was therefore called by some the Congress Bible. Today's secularists are on a mission to drive out any vestige of our nation's Christian heritage from the public arena. But it is precisely that biblical le legacy that has given us our liberty. For D. James Kennedy Ministries, I'm Jerry Newcomb.